So, Mr. Heath, this is uh, Craig Byteen uh, once again showing you the, uh, the, the various parts to the uh, Tesseract. Um, this is a, a finished, uh, this has a, a duplicate mate, um, but I wanted to show you what this looks like. The base, in this case, the base used around in the ones that I send you, the, the bases are square. But there's a part here, there's a part here, then here's the, uh, the top of the holder. Uh, it's really important that this stay inside flat black. Uh, same thing for the inside of the vanishing and appearing um, blocks. Um, so everything I'm showing you gets duplicated into a second, a second version of this. But this is one that's been painted with a hammered finish. Uses a very kind of emerald green uh, finish to it. This is the top. Uh, the top again. I'll I'll walk through the pieces. This is uh, this particular. So let me show you the pieces. Uh, clearly we have the, uh, the top, which is already painted black. The outside has been primed. Same thing with the base. Uh, it has been primed and the inside is black. Um, the block has already uh, been painted uh, inside and out. Now normally what I do here is I, I put um, iridescent material, uh, sticky material, on each of these squares. Um, I, I want to give you some flexibility. You can paint these. Um, the only concern is if you paint the entire block is that when it gets uh, placed inside the uh, holder, um, you got to be sure that no paint comes along here because that could be seen uh, in the vanish or the appearance. So uh, I would suggest you keep the basic color black on the block, uh, but just perhaps insert um, small paintings uh, in each of the squares. Uh, at least that's one of the options. Um, the top of the, um, the cover has this piece and then has the larger of the two. There's two, uh, two sets I'll be sending you. The larger of the two, this is just black um, primer, uh, gets attached to this. So that's how it gives you this uh, look. Now this one had a slightly different top, but uh, in this case I'm using the round, which it gets attached to the top. And then of course the base, this is the base, and this gets attached to this. So these can be sent to you separately, or I can assemble um, all of these pieces together uh, like this. So that's all one piece. Um, I won't attach this, however, because that could be a different color or a different image. Uh, and then the last piece of it is, instead of the, uh, instead of this approach, uh, which is a rod painted gold with the ball on the end, um, I've opted for um, this approach. And then we take, whoops, uh, then we take the smaller uh, of the balls, and these get attached to this, so that that becomes the wand, because then a uh, Brass rod is inserted, cut about half, about right here, and that's what's used to sit through. So there's um, obviously there's two sets of these uh, for each effect because one is a vanish and one is the appearance. And then once they're painted, I'd have you send them back to me for final assembly, and then I'll put yours into a custom case and mail it back to you. So that's pretty much the idea. Again, you can tell me if you want it mostly um, attached. I just think it's going to be difficult if you choose a different color for the base to paint around this image if it's already attached. So I'm inclined to keep that um, disconnected. But you let me know. All right, hopefully that's helpful and look forward to connecting with you and collaborating. Cheers.